I've had some fabulous and wonderful moments as the governor of Texas, but I'm not sure that I've ever had one that was any more impactful or one that I have enjoyed any more than being able to walk to that table and put my pen to paper and create one of the next great universities in America. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long time dream of uh, the Rio Grande Valley to have its own medical school. Senator Eddie Lucio and myself started back about 15 years ago where he carried the legislation on the Senate side. And at that time, I was a state representative and carried the legislation on the House side to create a regional academic health center, which is the first step uh, in creating a full-blown, freestanding medical school. Medical school is, a, um, I believe, extremely important uh, to South Texas and, and especially here uh, for us here in Hidalgo County. We will be able to address the uh, the educational needs, academic needs of a segment of our population, those that are interested in, uh, in achieving a health care degree. We will be able to provide better health care. So I'm very thankful that the community did come together and all those elected officials that, that realized the importance of locating a medical school here in our area. The pieces that it takes to create a quality GME program, a quality residency program, include several. You need to have a great health system, hospital partner to provide the environment um, and the patients that we need for residents to take care of and learn from. Resources are important, uh, not only the physical resources such as buildings and books and stuff like that, but having the resources to find quality educators, quality uh, community faculty, uh, and then having a mission. Uh, our mission is to serve uh, the underserved, and so when you have a mission, you can build the rest of the program around that. The best part is that it's going to be involved with patients right from the very beginning. So the residencies that will grow out of that are so important. Doctors Hospital has stepped up so tremendously. They're promising us over 100 residencies in, in surgery, in uh, pediatrics, in uh, OBGYN, general medicine. So we'll be working very closely with the local hospitals to make this work. It's one thing to learn in the classroom and to, um, to gain knowledge in the books and, and in the labs, but it's another to really practice uh, what you are learning on live patients and to be able to communicate with their families. Uh, the, the residencies will allow the students to learn from other doctors, experienced doctors. Uh, they will get to know the area, they will get to know the patients, and I think that that is gonna be really critical to producing excellent doctors in this area that are going to be invested in the people of the Rio Grande Valley. So one of the things that I think is going to be a particular strength to the uh, residency programs at Doctors Hospital Renaissance is going to be the sense of community and the sense of um, camaraderie that, that our physicians at our institution will impart on the residency programs. Well a residency experience always forms the physician and that's where we learn to be the type of physician we are in private practice. Uh, medical school trains us to be a doctor, but the practice patterns, the way we treat patients, um, the things we do on a daily basis, we learn in residency. So it's a very, very important process for us. As we build the residency programs in each one of the programs, whether it's internal medicine, general surgery, family practice, or obstetrics and gynecology, we're going to be bringing young physicians, young trainee physicians into the area. With that will come those who will teach them and at the same time, those same residents will teach those that come behind them. So we'll have an increasing number of residents. We know from looking at other programs across the country that 70% or so of residents will stay in a 150 mile ra radius of where they train. Here in the Rio Grande Valley, that's very important for us because we need more physicians to care for our population that is still relatively underserved. I hope to uh, provide a training environment where a young physician can come and become a general surgeon and choose to enter uh, the private world and become an excellent general surgeon. Or if they choose, they can go on to uh, specialty training 
Also, if they choose, they can go into academic medicine and perhaps someday be uh, the new chairman of the Department of Surgery in the Rio Grande Valley. The, the residency programs in the medical school is going to open a lot of opportunities to existing physicians to, to join in and, and, and be part also of what we do as a clinical research publishing and, uh, and no patient left without a primary care physician. That's the most important thing, is the residence has to be committed to the community. Women's Hospital delivers over 900 babies a month. That's comparable to most large university centers in Texas. That will provide a seeding ground, a teaching opportunity for these resident physicians. They'll be exposed to diseases like preeclampsia, multiple pregnancy, preterm labor, complicated pregnancies, to the extent that is comparable to any teaching hospital of major size in the United States. I think what we have at DHR that we can offer to these students is number one, a vision. And our track record is that just about in some way, shape or form, any vision that we have, we see it to fruition. And so we want to provide the best clinical inpatient and outpatient experience for these residences, both in terms of patient encounter as well as facilities. We think the residency program, just um, the professions you bring here, uh, professors and all the things that are involved with the medical school, suppliers, etc., are going to benefit the surrounding communities and McAllen happens to be one of them. So we think it's an economic development boom for, for our area. Certainly it helps us put ourselves on the map. Uh, we may think everybody knows where McAllen is or Rio Grande Valley is, but quite frankly, we have um, quite, a work, quite a bit of work to do to do that. And so having a medical school there um, puts us on the map a little more and makes us more noticeable than not only for things relating to medicine, but just overall economic development. As we know that with growth comes new quality of life, better quality of life. Well, we will see new developments, uh, everything from entertainment to uh, uh, cultural entertainment, uh, restaurants, uh, retail stores, that sort of thing, to serve the growth that is going to come as a result of uh, this development, the medical school uh, being in our city. Well, I, I think that we have all the resources in place here to probably have one of the finest medical institutions in the state of Texas, if not in the country. I think that uh, with the resources we have here, and I've been very, very impressed with the resources and the support from the uh, state of Texas as well as the University of Texas, uh, I envision having a, a top flight first rank uh, program, uh, hopefully within a few years. We are really looking forward to having these great residency programs that are also going to unite all ends of the valley uh, because all of the hospitals are participating and we're very grateful to Doctors Hospital uh, for the work that they're doing in making sure that these residency programs get up and going. The residency programs at DHR will transform medicine right here in the Rio Grande Valley. We want the best residency programs to train future physicians, to deliver high quality and compassionate patient care, to innovate and to research new cures for diabetes and cancer, to provide access to the superior health care that our community has long been without. Doctors Hospital at Renaissance is committed to training the best doctors in the country. Our patients deserve to have access to the best care available. We want for new medical discoveries to be made, and we want it all to happen right here in the Rio Grande Valley. The future of health care begins here.